Hello everyone, it's Sabrilia and welcome back to my channel Types of Maritime Injuries in House Stunt As anyone who works in the maritime industry or their families can tell you The maritime industry can be one of the most dangerous industries to work in on a day-to-day -day basis Maritime injuries also involve some of the most complicated areas of the law as a result, people injured offshore or on the dock often face legal uncertainty and complexity in the face of life. I'm sorry, in the face of life-changing injuries. The laws that govern maritime injury claims can include federal law, state law, and sometimes international law. For example, a vessel's crew is subject to different law that the long and stiff doors that load and discharge that same vessel. Skilled maritime attorneys will navigate this type of complexities. The dangers of working on uh, an oil rig. Oil rig workers raise dangerous job condition from rough seas to dangerous equipment as they labor to provide a critical portion of America's energy supply. The National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health reports data on fatalities in the, in the oil and gas industry. The most recent report from 2017 counted 69 fatalities in the oil and gas industry that year. Texas leads the nation with 44 of those fat fatalities. In addition to these tragic outcomes, many under oil rig workers are injured in accident each year. The American Petroleum Institute developed new safety measures after tragic accident made headlines. API advises oil companies to keep workers protected by using safe drilling margins, real-time data transmission and monitoring and regularly testing blowout preventer systems. Despite the safety advances, the oil industry still endangers many Houston area workers each year. If you were injured on, on an oil rig, you deserve compensation at Armstrong Lee and Baker LLP. Our, our offshore accident attorneys fight for injured oil workers. We work to get you maximum compensation for the injuries and loss of income you have suffered. To learn more about what we can do for you, contact us for a free consultation. Here, we will provide an overview of maritime injury law and share steps you can take to potentially recover maximum compensation. Okay, how are oil workers injured? Oil workers working offshore face inherently dangerous rig condition, including the following hazard. The first is slips and fall, machinery malfunctions, explosions, chemical leaks, fires, falling tools, and the last rough seas. It is an employer's study to provide a safe work environment for employees when an oil company fails to keep the workplace safe. Such hazard on, on oil rigs can cause a number of life-altering injuries, including the following. The first is burns, lacerations, broken bones, strained muscles, nerve damage, crushed or severed limbs, head injuries, and plus is spinal cord damage. In the most tragic cases, an oil accident can kill the worker. In, the, in that case, our law firm helps grieving family members recover compensation for their loved one's death. What occupation will be covered under mar uh, maritime injury? What laws apply will often depend on where the injure, injured person is. The first is steward, captain, fisherman, cook, pretender, engineer, longshoreman, stiff door, driller, and diver. Additionally, what law applies may depend on where the accident occur. The first is on navigable waters, and then while the vessel is docked, and on a semi-submersible, and then other docks, and the last is on an offshore rig. 
Once it is determined what law applies, injured maritime workers may be entitled to maintenance and care benefits or benefits under state workers' compensation law. In addition, a lawsuit can often be brought against vessels owners and operators or other responsible parties for the injured workers' past and future medical bills. Past and future lost wages, pain, and suffering and other damages. And then, what is the Jones Act? The Jones Act is a federal law designed to protect injured maritime workers. It allows injured workers to bring a personal injury claim against their employers. This different from land-based workers' compensation law, which doesn't allow injured workers to sue their employers. Thus, with the Jones Act claim, you have the potential to recover much more compensation than you could if you sustained a workplace injury on land. And then who qualifies for the Jones Act? Okay, to be covered by the Jones Act, you must be classified as a seaman. The Act defines a seaman as someone who spent at least 30% of their own time in the surface of a vessel on navigable waters. Navigable waters refer to water that is, uh, that is used in interstate or foreign commerce such as river transferring to or more state or an ocean. To be in navigation, the vessel must be afloat, in operation, and capable of moving on navigable waters. This means that workers on a boat in tra trade dock aren't covered by the Jones Act. What compensation can I recover? Okay, the compensation you can recover when injured on an, on an offshore oil rig depends on if you are eligible to file under the Jones Act. As we mentioned, this act restricts suit to injured workers who are classified as seamen. Okay, if you don't, if you do not qualify to file a claim under the Jones Act, you can file a claim under gener General Maritime Law. Okay, when you file a personal injury claim under the Jones Act, you can recover compensation for the following harm. The first is medical pills. You can recover reimbursement for medical pills, including doctors, uh, uh, including doctors' appointment, hospital stays, and physical therapy, among almost any other type of physics, physician recommended treatment. Transportation costs to get to treatment may also be reimbursed when you get medical treatment after you, uh, your oil rig accident, self bills and medical reports. This evidence can help prove your claim. And then number two, lost wages. You can recover past, present, and future lost wages. Lost wages include retirement accounts, health insurance, vacation days, and any other employment benefits. If you are unable to work again, our offshore accident attorneys will calculate your work life ex expectancy, or that is, the remaining years you anticipated working, and how much you would have earned each year. The requires complicated uh, the requires complicated calculations, but can result in a large settlement amount. And then number three. Number three is pain and suffering. Compensation for pain and suffering can also be recovered. Pain and suffering include conditions such as mental mental anguish at your altered physical appearance, insomnia, physical pain, loss of enjoyment of life, humi I'm sorry, humiliation, anxiety, and anger. And then number four, maintenance and cure. And cure. The compensation under the Jones Act is much more than the compensation allowed by general maritime law. 
okay that's all for today thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe this channel see you the next video and bye bye